Hello everyone, this is Easy from mslimiblog.com and we're going to be taking a look at Microsoft's wireless display adapter. So I've got here Microsoft's um, version of uh, Miracast adapter which is a wireless display adapter. This is the Microsoft version. It does support uh, Windows 8 devices and Android uh, devices so from the description here you can see you can share with your smartphone tablet or laptop um, it did cost $30 and this is a Chromecast from Google here which is for brand new you can get this for $30 as well um, a brand new however of Microsoft wireless display adapter would run you about 60 uh, between 50 and 60 dollars so but then again this supports multiple devices whereas the Chromecast only works with Android uh, devices with the Chromecast technology uh, Miracast as um, Microsoft wireless display uses more of a uh, universal standard so you can use this with all most devices can implement Miracast into um, their smartphones laptops or whatever so yeah this is it right here uh, packaging is really simple so this is what the wireless adapter looks like just pop open the box and you have your HDMI port and this little USB here you can plug it into your TV also to charge this device unlike the Chromecast here you have a separate cable that runs to the power adapter or actually you can take out the USB port of it and plug it into your TV as well but Microsoft chose to have the charging USB uh, integrated into the adapter here and this is what it looks like it's pretty big it's bigger than the Chromecast but uh, it's not a problem it does have an extender so if um, the plug-in on your TV doesn't it's not enough for a big adapter you can always use the extender here to plug into your TV and we'll be taking a look I'm gonna run this I uh, run a quick demo how to use this with your Windows 10 devices as well as your Windows 8 devices okay there's nothing else in the box just a bunch of literature okay so let's set this up so when you have the adapter plugged into your TV, as you can see here, the adapter goes into your HDMI port and if you have a USB port on your TV, you can use that as a charging station. Uh, there is a light indicator to show that it is plugged in, as you can see here. And there is a little button here, I'm not sure what that's for, I think that's for connecting. But we'll see in a bit so that is the setup at the back of your tv and next up would be uh, connecting your device to your tv let's take a look so this is what you should get on your tv it's a nice um splash page for the wireless display adapter a nice microsoft logo with the uh, display adapter name ready to connect as you can see here, there is a nice fine print at the bottom that says you can actually download the wireless display adapter app from the Windows Store. Uh, we'll take a look at that in a bit. But first of all, I'm just going to do a quick connect with my Windows 10 device. So right here, so I'm going to go into, say for instance, I want to watch a movie or a TV show on Windows 10. Go to my Movies app, TV, choose a show for instance say grim uh, just click it there click the play button and the show starts to play and if you're familiar with windows 10 you have the option to extend this to a different screen and the searching automatically it finds the wireless display adapter so you want to click on it connecting and you can see on the screen there it says focus 
but it did say connecting to so that I have it connected so it's kind of like see if I can get it to go landscape so I'm gonna play there so you can flip it over and you have there is no sound however volume up so Jim Kalk and David Greenwald are writers between the two of them we have Angel Buffy X-Files they're awesome okay let's do this what are you doing Testing out the new equipment and getting a picture of you while you're still young and innocent? My character, Nick, he had this perfect life. He was very much in control, had this wonderful job, and this wonderful girlfriend. Oh, you're a happily ever after guy. Yeah. And my whole world is... So, it's really that easy. Um, so, you can see how this is really integrated with your TV. Smooth connection, no hassle. And next up, we'll take a look how this works on a PC or Windows 10 PC. So I've got here a uh, HP Stream 8 Windows tablet running Windows 10 also. I'm going to go to Movies and TV, pretty much do the same thing. And play. It's the same Universal app, so it should work the same way. So from a HP Stream 8, you can use the connect action, the center button here, and it searches for your wireless adapter, and you can connect to it. Okay, it's connecting to the desktop, it says it's connected, and there, so I have pretty much full-blown windows wirelessly on my tv so i mean i have an eight inch uh windows 10 tablet here all i need to do is connect a bluetooth keyboard mouse and i have a larger monitor here larger display and you can do whatever use your touch Can run through the different applications you can also watch you can watch videos for instance you can play so that works what do we know? A little girl on the way to her grandfather's house in the shutter. Cinderella, Little Red Riding Hood, Hanzo and Gretel, so the way the writers incorporated much. these stories is really kind of brilliant. So it's all connected. You can do your word. If you write in a document, you can use Microsoft Word here. So, I mean, yeah, this is a nice wireless uh, way to extend your display with the wireless adapter. So that works too. And yeah, that's a nice way to use um, the wireless adapter. Moving on, you can also use this with uh, your Windows 8 phone and Windows 8 laptop. And we'll take a look right now. But before we take a look, I'm going to show you something real quick. So you can also use the connect button here and change your projection mode. So for instance, this is duplicate. So whatever's on my 8 inch screen is projected on my uh, HD TV. I can change that however so I can have multiple desktops for instance I can do extend and what it does is it extends the screen from your so that pretty much I have uh, two separate screens I can do something else on this screen and probably watch a video on this screen so that is really nice 
And next up, you can actually shut down your eight inch uh, tablet and just use the monitor right there. So say for instance, you're watching a two hour movie and you wanna save battery life on your uh, tablet. All you have to do is just use the second screen only mode and it just uses just your HDTV while it saves battery life on your tablet. And to turn it back on, that's where it had you. Oh, you probably need a mouse. You probably need a mouse so you can use controls. But yeah, uh, next up, uh, yeah, those are different functions. To disconnect, however, you can disconnect by going back to the connect and just click on disconnect right here. And there we're back to uh, where we were at the start. So next up, we'll test this out on a Windows 8 phone. I have a Windows 8, Windows Phone 8 running here on my 930. All you have to do is go to settings here. Just look for the project my screen right there. And immediately you can find your wireless adapter. And you want to connect to it. And there it shows up on the screen connecting. So there it's connected and you have your phone and it works both modes, portrait mode, landscape mode. From here you can choose what you want to do. You can watch a movie or do whatever. And yeah, it's all in there. You can play a game for instance. You can play a game landscape mode. So it kind of looks like you have a an Xbox One, <laughs> but it's just powered by these little guy here. So that's really nice. Windows Phone 8. Let's try this again. Oh, stabs him in the neck. Awesome. Oh, I got a gun. All right, see you guys later in the next one. So this is the wireless display adapter app. Let's see if you can focus there. And there you go. And I'm just going to download that. So I just installed the wireless display app. I'm going to launch it. So uh, before you use the app, obviously you need to be connected. I'm going to connect to it right now. It's connecting and it's connected so that's the app right there and what's funny is when it connects to my HDTV it automatically switches to desktop mode so I'm not sure I guess that's a good thing so it says let the application access your uh, hardware can say yes and it sees you're connected and obviously this is where you can change the name for the adapter so before you can use anything from or control the uh, adapter from the app um, you have to create a password so not because anyone could easily connect to your wireless display adapter and change your password or configure it so what you want to do is the, f the only option on the app is to first thing you want to do is create a password um, just gonna create a password real quick so once you create a password uh, get, get a prompt for a firmware update I'm gonna download that 
Uh, that's downloading. You can change the name. Uh, you can choose what language you want in. You can do a pin code so anyone who's trying to connect to it would have to put in a pin code to access your display adapter. So now the update is done. I'm going to do update here. Start the update. And so you can see on the screen it's rebooting. So. So it's done with the update and you want to reconnect to it. It's connecting. Um, prior to the update, it would automatically switch to desktop mode. Uh, now it's connected, it seems, and it switches to desktop mode. So that's what it's supposed to do. Also, there is the message it says tablet mode isn't available when you're connected to multiple displays. But it is connected, so I don't know why we get that message. But oh well. And it tells you you've exited from tablet. Oh, so it's just a notification. It's not. A, it doesn't require any action per se. So there, we're back to the app. I'm gonna log in. All you have to do is put the password you created. Find in. And the last thing I want to do with this app is change the name. You can actually do other things too. It says you can adjust, so you can actually adjust. I don't know if you can see this, but you can adjust how large the screen is on. So you can see. Try to, yeah, get it to focus. So you can adjust your screen size, you can zoom it in, there you go. And all this is from the app. So yeah, those are the things you can do. You can change your language, you can uh, enable the option, the pair remote option to use a pin. If anyone's going to pair to your device, you're going to have a required pin. You want to do that for security reasons. So. Uh, anyone who sees your signal doesn't just connect to your adapter. Uh, you can also change the name that's being displayed. So, so you can see I just changed the name from the uh, wireless adapter app. All you have to do is just um, log it in, uh, change the name, and make sure you uh, confirm. The name shows up here too. Let's connect to it. So that has been a quick look at Microsoft's wireless display adapter. Um, you can get it refurbished from eBay for $30. A brand new one would cost you almost twice that amount. I think it goes for around $50 to $60. So uh, you can check it out as you just saw me demo. It can work on most devices. I don't have an Android device to test it on. But yeah, if you if you run multiple uh, Windows devices from tablets to laptops to uh, phones, Windows Phone 8, Windows 10 Mobile, uh, even if you have an Android device, as long as it supports Miracast, you should be all good to go. So yeah, for a device that supports multiple platforms at that price, um, it's a really handy uh, uh, gadget to own. So you can try it out. And of course, with Windows 10 coming up, it should make uh, the experience much more better. So, yeah, this has been easy, and thanks for watching. Bye.